So you were saying something about uh, the food that you eat. Right. So how much of a difference is the food like when you eat it? Like, I mean, know, I when just, it comes to work out. Right. Uh, like just before I saw like the, on the packet, you, you know that the glazed donut they have it? Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. a small one. If you see, they had like 110 calories, yeah. right? And do you know how long it's gonna to take to burn the 110 calories? How if long? you go, for me, if I use the ladder, just it's gonna take me 10 minutes to burn like 50 to 60 calories. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. That's but a lot. you, yeah, now that is less than you eating the one donut. Like it is 110 calorie, yeah. and you go to the ladder to burn that calorie, yeah. and it's gonna to take to 10 to 50. But ladder is really intense, my brother. Oh. Ladder is really intense. That I don't do ladder anyway. If you do it, that's the best thing because it's gonna work like every time when you come in, yeah. don't jump to the uh, cardio thing. Never do that one because you're gonna be exhausted whole period. What about the, the cycling? Like uh, do it like a stretch. That's help you to, uh, you know, good mobility for your workout. Give you more swing around, you know, help you less injury. Like I wow. said, you have to do stretch very good. I mean, do skipping, that's a good thing. After that, you go to the workout, everything says in. Then I will go after that to the cardio thing. Like I do the ladder. Like I started with the five minutes, it's really intense. Then I went to the 10 minutes. Then I start to take 20 pounds on my shoulder. Sure. Then I start to going up, you know, like it helps you tidy your muscle, right. lose your, you know, burn your calories. So it's really helpful. I got a question on the reps though. Right. Like, you know, like for me, I don't even normally have reps. Uh -huh. I do as much as, I want right until the point that I get tired. Tired, right? Um, so yeah. how how effective is for the somebody to help have you to consistent reps? Say, right. okay, I do thirty reps, three sets. Like, the, don't keep in mind like I'm gonna do this reps this much because once you're gonna do that one, your whole mind gonna be on the reps, right? Reps. Like, I, I'm gonna do this much. I'm gonna enjoy the workout. You know, like it uh, doesn't matter. Like uh, even you do like five, that's gonna still count on your body. But the, the point is, you're gonna do the right way. Yeah. And uh, like, uh, let's say if you're gonna do like uh, three reps for the back, right? Yeah. Don't count it, don't count in your mind, because more you're gonna count it, more it's gonna be exhausting your mind, man. I, I need to do that more. Like, that you feel like you, you need to motivate that yourself. It gives you, um, I forgot what they call it. It gives you, like, okay, have a goal, and I accomplished it. That you're gonna, you, have, just, you have already goal in your mind that you're gonna change yourself. That's your first thing, goal. Okay. You know, your goal is like, a, I'm gonna do this much reps. Okay. Reps is just like, you thinking like how much you can do it, right? Okay. Your goal point is, I'm gonna come to gym today. Okay. I'm gonna do this shit today. I'm gonna make that burn and I'm gonna feel that good today. Okay. That's your whole mind, you know, like. Does I, walking out make somebody look younger? It does, I think it does, it, you know. Wait, wait, wait. I know it does, but how, because one day I was just thinking about, okay, you know, when you're stressed out, right. you look old. But when you come to the gym, it's like, you know, it's more or less like a stress. It's like a, something you have to, you know, to overcome. You know why? Good why? question. It's because this is the place you want to be in the first thing. Okay. Gym needs to be like, a, that's the best place you can be versus you going to office, home, like, okay. a, you know, we all have like our like arousal moment, you know, like okay. a certain like comfort zone. Okay. Some people like to stay home all the time. They don't want to get out. That's their comfort, right? That's their comfort. I can do that. I know. Like, uh, but if you come to your gym, I mean, in the beginning, you're going to feel like so tired, this and that. But once you uh, see around the people, like even like some like 50s people, 80s people, they're working out, you know, it doesn't matter what's your size. But the good thing is they come to over here so they can be live tomorrow, feel better and, you know, Looks nice. That's my. Yeah. That's the thing, you know. You let me let to... you do your workout, and I'll come back with one question. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs>
So what's the okay term for like a rest time in between our reps? Like a 20 resting? seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, or as much as you like. How much you want to go intense on your body? Because my thing is, when I do a rep, right, I try as much not to wait more than one minute right. in between the next reps. Right. You understand? So what's the okay time? Because, you know, like, as soon as the muscles start building up, if you rest too long, it's going to go back to the same spot. Right. So what's the, 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 the okay, you know, rest time to be able to make sure the muscle doesn't go back so that you, you put more reps on it to be able to, to shoot to the next level? So normally you don't want to also take too long okay. when you do the reps. Okay. I would go like a 30 to a minute, okay. depending on your weight, what, how much you're doing it. Enjoy. Like if you are really doing light one, okay. I would jump in within like a 30 second. Okay. Or if I want to do more intensity, like I want to resist in my body. I want okay. to keep, you know, more weight? My, yeah, I go and then I jump to the, my push up or I'm going to go and jump to the pull up. In that way, like my push up and pull up is increasing day by day. Day by day. Day by day. And, uh, more you do it, you're not gonna feel like a more stamina in your body. You can breathe more harder, you know, than uh, you're doing before. Like you're gonna be like, <sighs> I know. You know, like when you like you put so much press on your body. Like let's say you play to soccer or basketball. How long is it gonna take to just out of the gas? It's gonna take 30 seconds, right? I know. But that's the uh, like if you wanna build up that kind of stamina, keep pushing it. Like uh, your goal gonna you know define you. What are you gonna do the next? So what's the okay food to eat when you're working out because i've heard a lot of people say you need to eat a lot of rice uh -huh. which is carbs and a lot of chicken to serve as protein then if you have the little veggie you mix it up so what's your own okay um like a, how much food? carbs you need to consume no no what type of food what that type you think is food? okay for like a, if you want a, a good effect good and effective uh I think Work rice is good. rice is good. I would not say rice is that bad too, but depend on how much portion you're gonna eat, you know, in a day. Okay. If it's a small, the right person okay. is gonna be right protein for your body. But if you're gonna excess amount of the carbs, it doesn't matter how much you work out, it's not gonna help you because you're eating a lot. Carbs has a sugar, but if you eat right amount of the amount, it's gonna help you to build up your muscle, everything. You know, that's like uh, if you like a day before you go before the bed. Some people eat really light food, some people eat a lot because everybody has their own gold body, you know. Like I want to be a little bit, little bit big, so I have to eat a little bit more person than what I'm eating, right? Uh, so it depends on your person how much you want to eat. Eating means doesn't mean you need to eat a boiled vegetable or just a plain chicken, you know, something like that. You can play with your food every day. Okay. Just you need to make sure you have a mind like this, this hour I'm going to eat this much person. Don't eat a lot at the same time. So the next question, how many times a day do you, do you think is okay to, to, to eat? To eat. You need, uh, no, I have never calculated any calorie in my body okay. since I work out, you know. So you eat like a morning, afternoon. Right, right. but I make sure I have the like, right person in my container. Like I work in a day, like 10 hours in a day. I prepare my food in a, before the day I go out go tomorrow. Out. So by the time I have every food, at least I have that enough energy to work out go over work here. Out. But make sure you eat something before you come to the gym. Never come to empty stomach. Next question, breakfast, right? How important is the breakfast?